Okay, there's this so-called health food, the miracle health food called soy. And you know what? Soy has a dark side that nobody is talking about. Let me tell you some of the things that soy has been studied extensively and found out that number one, and this is, we're talking about thousands of studies, not just one or two. Many, many studies have proven this over and over again. There's an increased, potential increase in breast cancer. Brain and cognitive decline, meaning your mind and your brain function at less and less efficiency. Thyroid problems, immune impairment, fertility problems, digestive problems, uh, premature development in little girls in particular, and infant abnormalities. Now, I know this might sound crazy to you, but you have to understand that soy contains compounds. Number one, a compound called goiterogens. You may have never heard of that, but goiterogens means compounds that can cause a goiter. They mess with your thyroid gland. They contain something called hemoglutinin. Hemoglutinin is a compound that, when it's in your bloodstream, it causes your blood cells to stick together. Phytates, these things attach themselves to minerals and carry them right out of your body so you don't absorb your minerals. And probably worst of all, there's a high concentration of something called phytoestrogens in soy. Now, phytoestrogens are good for women who are in premenopause or menopause and their estrogen levels have fallen. But guess what? We are feeding soy formulas to infants and we're literally increasing the amount of estrogen in that infant's body sometimes as much as 20,000 times beyond the amount that it should be. So listen, here's the takeaway lesson about soy. There's a lot of foods that have uh, been implicated to be health foods or wonder foods. However, when the, in the case of soy, this all came about when everybody started talking about how bad cholesterol was for you and they were looking for all these alternatives. And it turns out that they forgot to really look at soy, to really study it, and to find out what kind of impact all these compounds have. So listen, if you're a pregnant or lactating mom, be careful with soy. Number two, children. Don't give lots of soy products to children. All right. And number three, you just got to understand which soy are we talking about because there's fermented soy products which are good for you and the unfermented or non-fermented soy that's bad. The fermented products are things like miso, natto, tempeh, and soy sauce. The non-fermented soy are like textured soy protein, tofu, and textured vegetable protein that they use to make soy burgers, etc. So the point is this, stay away from the non-fermented soy because in many ways this stuff is literally ruining our health.